In this lesson, we'll provide a quick overview of the important setup items serving as a sanity check to ensure your installation is good to go. If any of these steps sound unfamiliar or were not performed, please revisit our previous lessons where all these subjects were covered in great detail. Let's go through it step by step with these series of questions. First, did you update the MV to the latest firmware? Did you configure your source devices as covered in our lessons and guides to ensure compatibility and maximum performance? Did you set your display's black and white levels correctly to avoid crushed blacks and clipped whites? Did you optimize the settings in your display for use with the Envy for our lessons and guides? Did you set the Envy's essential output settings, such as the output resolution, HDR transfer function, and color gamut to match your display? Also, as covered in our lessons and guides, did you ensure that you didn't make any changes to the incoming signal override settings? As we covered in a previous lesson, these settings almost never need to be changed and can lead to issues that are hard to diagnose. If adjustments are necessary, they're typically just temporary and specific to the current content and should never be saved to the base layer. If using an anamorphic lens, did you disable the anamorphic stretch feature in your projector and set this up in the Envy instead? If using a screen that's not 16 by 9, did you set the aspect ratio in the MV using the screen boundaries function? Did you measure and set your peak luminance to ensure accurate HDR performance? If using a projector and the MV extreme, did you use geometry control to perfectly align that image? Did you explore and adjust motion AI, nonlinear stretch, subtitle handling stickiness, sharpening, and detail enhancement settings according to your preferences? Did you set your HDR preferences, including the look setting, highlight recovery, contrast recovery, and shadow detail recovery settings? Did you set up auto lip sync or manually add a delay in your AVR? Did you configure your power settings and cooling option preferences? Did you perform a quick signal check to ensure the incoming and outgoing signals are as expected? As a quick reminder, play any 4K HDR movie besides Billy Lynn and Gemini Man and verify the incoming signal menu shows the frame rate as 24p and the transfer function there shows HDR. Don't get this confused with the transfer function shown on the outgoing signal information menu, which should always show SDR, even with HDR content, unless you're purposely using an advanced setup option as covered in a previous lesson. Also, Make sure to check the incoming and outgoing frame rates to ensure they are what you expect. If using Motion AI, see that lesson for more details on what's expected for the outgoing frame rate. Finally, it's crucial to back up your initial settings to the MV Cloud for easy recovery just in case. See our lesson on backing up and restoring your settings. With these steps completed, you've established a solid foundation for an exceptional MV experience right from the start. As you become more familiar with the Envy, we encourage you to experiment with the various features and settings. This will allow you to tailor the image and operation to perfectly suit your needs and preferences. Okay, now that we've ensured your installation is set up correctly, take some time to enjoy your favorite movies like you've never seen them before. And remember, there's always more to learn. Join me in the next lessons as we cover more advanced Envy concepts.